Welcome to Lotus Operations and in this tutorial I will be showing you over the next three weeks basically of how this box survival crate as I call it was formed and made and where I exactly got the crate at so you can be able to own your own crate and create your own survival box so the next videos will show you how and I will take you step by step so here we go let's have some fun and let the um, projects begin my name is Jake as y'all know from my previous videos but in this video I'm going to be starting to teach y'all about how you can create survival situational boxes but as I call them survival emergency kits sector boxes or sectional boxes depends upon you know how you want to label them and stuff like that but from the basic materials around you and I want to tell you exactly what website you can get these style of boxes from now they're kind of pricey but they're well worth the price because they handle very well when it comes to high stress situations they're watertight water resistant and they have pressure release valves to prevent too much pressure from building up inside them so the cases do not crack or tear up so these are the boxes that I have and I was given these boxes by a friend of mine who works in a warehouse and they use these types of boxes to store some of their stuff in now you can get these boxes as you can see here is a white style crate as you can see behind there is another style crate situation stuff these boxes has latches that can open up like this around here and as you see supply shipping handling stuff because they used it to ship like gear in for like tools and other stuff they needed to and fragile stuff like glass stuff and all and inside these boxes has just a seal as you can see a seal right there and um, they weren't needing these crates anymore and he knew that I like to do survival stuff so he passed them on to me instead of them being thrown away because that's always going to happen they didn't need them anymore because the latches were all rusted up and they bought new ones so he just gave them to me so what I'm going to do is teach you how you can take these old crates or buy you new ones depends upon if you have any hookups with people who utilize these crates or not or you can go to the website casebysource.com and at that website again it's casebysource.com you can take and buy these style of crates many different styles designs Price ranges varies from discounted versions of $90 all the way up to $1,500, depending upon the size of your crate. So now, in the next video, right here, we're going to get ready to get some spray paint, as I have right here. We're going to have it spray painted tactical colors. Now, you can spray paint it whatever colors you want. But being I'm dealing with survival stuff, I want it as tactical as possible so my crates blend into the environment around me so no one knows where my campsite is and I'm located at. But I did see on the website they do have some nice orange ones that they would use like in Antarctica or extreme white environments so your crates don't disappear on you. But um, yep, trains. that's my doggy. He's wanting attention. But um, they do have those there and those look nice. Now on this website, CrateBySource.com or CratesBySource.com They have also ones that has wheels, they have it, everything else like that stuff there. But I'll put the website in the link below so you can be able to actually go to the website to get your own crate if you want to build these style of cases. So now, let's get ready to start spray painting this. Okay, here we are. We are shaking up our paint. paint. Now, as you can see here, I have certain sections taped in the box but I'm not taping the latches due to rust issues. Um, I did scratch them down a little bit to try to clean it up, but it's pretty bad on the rust stuff. But I didn't scratch it up today. I scratched it up a while back, got what I could. But there are certain sections I don't want painted, the tactical colors, but the latches for this box here, being that this box is for someone else, I'm really not too worried about the latches being covered. But if my latches were in perfect sh shape, then I would definitely cover them up so they could be nice and pretty. But being these are all rusted and old and was left out in the weather at his warehouse for several months at a time frame, 
I'm going to actually take and paint them up so to kind of keep them a little bit protected. So here we go. I'll set up the camera. And then... Now you want to do thin, even coats. Clean off as much old paper as possible if you have an older box. If you have a newer box, it will not have any paper on it. So me, I have an older box. I cleaned up the best I can. But... Do thin layers. Thin layers is the best way to do it. So now, as you can see here, we have the box painted a nice pretty tactical brown color and everything is looking nice and good. Now what I'm going to do is let this dry, which takes about 30 minutes for this paint to dry, peel off any more paper that is trying to come off and give it this nice pretty second coat. So to make one of these boxes actually pretty good for the pretty coat wise, I recommend three coats if you have enough paint and you want to spend enough money on it. But usually two coats, depending upon how well the box takes the paint in, is usually covers it in good. So once the paint dries, I get the second coat, and we start phase two of this operation of getting it ready for survival situations. I will put up a video, and we will keep going together, and then you will see step by step from the box from the beginning all the way to its finished stages. Hello.
have a nice day. And welcome back to Lotus Operations. And for the past few weeks, I have been trying to show you how to make some survival boxes based off a simple, normal, military-style crates that you can get from a normal website that is sold to civilians. And as below in the links, I do have the website posted in case you are interested in the type of boxes. But I have now gotten to the point to where I have finally figured out my logo design and how it is going to be done. So I'm going to show you through this video here. And we will get it spray painted today on the boxes so we can officially have one crate made. And then you will see exactly how the boxes look and what the finished product will be for your survival emergency crates, whether it be for medical supplies, food supplies, normal camping gear, or even weapons and ammunition. You, whatever you decide, that's up to your imagination. So here we go. Let's work on the logo. So we're gonna turn this camera around right now. Bear with me. And adjusting the camera. And adjusting my legs so they don't fall. So, as you can see here, wow, I didn't even know I had the camera zoomed in. So we are going to start creating our design. So we're going to type in Lotus for the first one. Now I'm going to want everything here as capitalized. So, I'm going to have to backspace this. No! Son of a gun. Caps locks. Lotus, carry you up, boom. Next one, text, operations. Oh, what just happened? Operations, yes. Now, we're gonna kick you right here. Now, we wanna bring these down here, and then we are going to import, If I let's see if I can remember how to do this, upload, image, this is our gun sight that we like because unfortunately this is the only style gun sight that will be basically um, able to be spray painted without disappearing to a full circle. So let's put this in. How did I put this in? How was I going to put this in? Uploaded. Boom. Information. Nope. I don't want to delete it. Uploaded. No. No. Upload your images. Fine, you know what? Delete. Yes. Why is it not working? You know what? Let's delete these two while we're at it. Delete. Yes. Since I don't know how to re-upload images, I'm going to have to learn that. Upload and delete. So we're just going to go find it in our other files. We're going to go upload image. Crap! I'm going to have to try to do all this again. So, Cricut fonts. Nope, not the fonts. Cricut. Down. We are going. Sorry about guys, about all the little blabbering. But, as they joke with that work, I've always talked to myself. So let's see if I remember this right. We got to go moderate complex, continue. Then we are going to go to advanced options. Nope, not advanced options. We want to go to shrink you out. Mice, mice, mice. We are want to do erase here. Boom. I'm going to click that. Then we are going to go to the erase button and then we're going to make it big and then we're going to go and erase this little guy because we do not want this inside our stencil thing. Now, and then we hit continue and then we save this as a cut out image because we want to cut this image out even though we don't want these lines because we're going to save all this so this can become spray painted. Boom and you know what? There. Save. So insert image. Why didn't that work earlier? Okay, so now as you can see we have our image in. So we are going to make this, this thing's awfully huge. So my ideal I had is because originally I was going to make the O part of it, but instead I was suggested how about you make the O 
part of the crosshairs as like a perfect circle. Then we take and we move this stuff around and have it as like basically in a way to where everything flows like that. Now this was originally my design but like that's harder to read than a solid O with the crosshairs thing or I thought about making it big but unfortunately as you can see it's covering over so it's really not going to work that well with this tile so we're going to have to unless I mean I had lots of different ideals hmm hmm let's see if we do lotus operations at that there that's not a bad idea because unfortunately we only got 12 inches you know to play with and like we can't just do this because this is longer than 12 inches it's not gonna work so we have to go like this so that's why I was thinking of this design like this oh yeah that's even better but let's see if we can make this a little bigger where the P is not so covered up Hmm. You could still read it as a P there with the crosshairs. And let's scoochie this over just a skosh. Because the more that the P is available, the better off it is. I'm thinking we are going to stick with this design. So, but now, will Lotus be above here? That's actually not that bad right there. Lotus Operations. That's actually not that bad at all. Where should I go here? I wish I'd go here, but unfortunately we cannot because the Cree Cut will not allow me because I have only limited space. Now if I can get a bigger board to do it, maybe eventually my logo will change. But as of now, I'm believing that this, no, it should be all set, so, this should be the Lotus Operation Symbols. So now, we have what I like, okay? So we're going to hit make it. So, unfortunately, as you can see, how these idiots over here, it's kind of hard to see. See how the idiot computer screen did this? So now I'm going to have to rebuild all of this again, unfortunately. But luckily, I already know what I want. So I'm going to build that right quick. And we're going to get it here. Where the P is like that. Like there. Nope. There. There, 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 there. Hmm. Now we don't want it mirrored or anything, it really doesn't matter, but like we want this here and we need to bring this over to 11 and then this to this to here and then this and then we want to make it like as like coolish as possible. That's why I'm trying to blend it like this and make it look like a gun sight. Okay, there we are. Now we have our official cutout thing. So what we're going to do is we are going to hit continue. And now the machine is connected. So as you can see over here, we have our machine ready to go. Once that thing, oh look, there it is, it's flashing. It's going to start the cutting of Lotus Operations Stencil. And here we go. So as you can see, we are cutting out our symbols. Shh. 
should have took that off a long time ago. I don't know why it's there, because it's not going to go all the way through, is it? Oh, shoot! Son of a gun. Uh, I didn't put it in the... Mm, I'll be back. Here we are, people. This is our final font that we are going to be doing. And as you saw earlier, I did make it, but unfortunately it was the wrong type of font, so it would not have spray painted again. So we are trying this once more. And because this is my last piece of style board, that will work. And so now we are going to see exactly what happens if this will work. On the last video I tried, I deleted it, but it basically went off the board. It was not the right angles. And here we are, Lotus Operations formed. Now we're going to have to take this off and then hand cut it out and then we'll spray paint. So I'll get back to you when I'm spray painting. And here is the moment we have been waiting for. As you can see, Lotus Operations is fully stenciled out and a patience of nice three weeks is going to pay off. So here we are. We are going to do a test piece on something. On, actually, we should just test piece the box. Worst case scenario, it screws up. So now, here is the box that I was going to be doing for my father-in-law to, that I'm doing for this video for food. But unfortunately, due to the fact of the box actually keeping the oil smell inside it because it was used to be storing like oil products or stuff like that we are not going to be using it to put food in because that is not sanitary and healthy wise so we are in fact i'm thinking about using it for myself to put other types of supplies in like other random stuff that it really doesn't matter about smells, candles, matches, things like that. 
So, here we are. We are going to put our stencil down on top of this thing. Trey, go back away. On top of this thing, and this is where we're going to have it. So we're going to tape this puppy down, and then we're going to spray paint. Now, here we are, the moment of operations. Get it? And we'll notice operations. Now the wind's got to start being picking up. We're the wind. Okay, so we're going to turn this down here like this, okay? So we can be able to... Okay, there we go. Now, with this here, I can be able to control with my hand to be able to basically... have better control over our stencil, keep everything nice, good, perfect, organized. And now, here is the moment of truth. And now, the revealing factor. Lotus Operations. Stencil. And that, my friends, is how it's going to basically look. I wish it would look a lot more professional, but... But... For considering what type of stencil we have, that is not bad at all. Well, and there you go. Our official crates are now made. I will put the serial number on there because this crate is serial number 001. Let's see if we can find that stencil. Or I'll just have to make another stencil. Oh, uh, that's right. I got rid of the stencil. So. So there we go guys, as you can see, our boxes are now made, and then each box I will put a serial number on when I make them, so we can know exactly which boxes are which, and when that time comes, then everything will work out. Well, thank you for following me, like, subscribe, and I will have future videos coming to you soon.